Hey, hey, welcome. Welcome to the crooked camera. <laughs> I think that's probably an appropriate way to start. I've got the camera propped up on this crystal that's on this picnic table by the wood-fired sauna here in Nevada City where I'm staying for a few days. So life has been filled with twists and turns and crooked edges and all kinds of things reminding me of the importance of not holding on too tightly being willing to let go and shift and change. So it seems appropriate that the camera is a little crooked to start. Yeah, so this is going to be kind of a diary, a record, a log of um, my journey, the outward journey, the plan at least. <clears throat> and you know what they say about plans. Don't, don't tell your plans to God if you... Uh, if you don't want to make him or her laugh. So I've, I've definitely told God my plans a bunch of times recently, and, and he, she has most definitely gotten a good belly laugh out of those because they have changed <laughs> consistently. But the, the uh, intention, the current iteration of Plan ZZ is to head down at the end of the summer uh, down to Mexico, and look for some land that will become the space, the sanctuary space where I will tend it, looking for land that I'm getting getting um, connected with the mosquitoes here, because I'm sure there will be lots of mosquitoes down there. So they're giving me a, a preview here. But yeah, the, the journey to find the land that's calling me, the, the land that's calling me home, the land that's calling, asking to be tended, stewarded, preserved, protected, and um, in the process, the deeper desire, the deeper intention is to remember that belonging is always here. Belonging is always here, wherever I am. That it doesn't depend on where I am, where I live, what I have, who I'm with. That all of that is an external expression of a sense of belonging. And this life has been definitely... Uh, one lesson after another in that and whether that's a karmic thing or from being adopted it doesn't really matter the the point is it's been a long journey to get to this place where i feel like i might finally be ready to remember that i belong and this process um honestly i was really kind of wanting to just disappear after the last chapter and I'll share more about that in another video um, but I kept getting these messages these hints from life that it wasn't time for that it wasn't time to just you know ride off into the sunset and and disappear that there's something in this process that can help can benefit can support people maybe you uh, maybe it's just that by sharing the mistakes I make um, and the lessons I learned from them, it will help you not have to make <laughs> quite as many mistakes as I've made. And I have made quite a few, and I'm sure I will continue to make more. Um, or maybe something that I share will inspire you, um, support you in some way. So that's the intention that somehow these videos serve serve you um, and along the way you know maybe by sharing something so hopefully authentically and vulnerably it will perhaps open up something in me that I wouldn't have seen other otherwise so that's what's happening here that's the intention I look forward to having you join me on this journey and uh, would love to connect and communicate down below in the comments and uh, definitely sending lots of love, lots of blessings from this beautiful, I don't know what you see in the background here, but this beautiful spot up here in Nevada City where I'll be for a few days uh, before the next, the next journey. All right, much love, many blessings. Bye for now.